Hi, you guys. So, like I said uh, earlier in December, I was not able to participate in Vlogmas because of things that were going on here with one of our cats. But I did purchase an advent calendar that I am going to start unboxing here for the new year. So, this will be kind of like a new year, new projects kind of thing. So I got the Tangled Poets 2021 box from Aberdeen Wool Company. And if you're not familiar with Aberdeen Wool Co., uh, they have some beautiful hand dye yarns. They also are a Canadian company. So you Canadians out there can get this a little bit cheaper than... I did. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for the advent calendar, and I don't have that information directly here at hand. I have opened this. I do have the box open because this did get shipped to my home address, so I don't want to, like, share my house address or anything else, but let's get on to cracking into this. This is January 1st. Sit. Here we go. We have a thank you card here. Sorry, I am filming this like holding the phone in one hand. Happy knitting from Heather. We've got a Notions pouch and this is, uh, I'm very familiar with HTV, uh, heat transfer vinyl. If you've got a Cricut or a Silhouette or anything like that, you'll, or have been considering getting one. I love the HTV. I don't do a whole lot of vinyl crafting, but the HTV stuff is one of my favorites. So in here, we have the care instructions for our yarns. Now, Tangled Poets is one of their lines of yarn that are specialty dye yarns or hand dye yarns. So this is a collection. Oh, the, this is the uh, clothespins and twine. For you to hang this up as an advent calendar. I'm not going to do that because once again I am doing this a month late. But we're going to roll with it. So next up are our patterns. I do know that the patterns we got like enough for the first few days. I think it's socks and a shawl. Yeah we have the candy stripe socks. And then we have the Ripple and Redwood Triangular Shawl. And this is uh, through day nine. The socks are the first four days. Then the shawl is days five through nine. And the sweater pattern, I got the full box. It was a small box and then a big box. I got the full box. Uh... The sweater pattern has not been released yet or sent to us, so I'm not sure if by doing this a month late, I'll have a chance to do the sweater or if I'm going to have to come up with something else for the next section. I do like the fact, you know, I ran into the problem with the one I did last year where I made my own with 20 gram minis. I ran into the problem of my shawl ended up too big trying to put everything into one project. So I do kind of like the fact that there are a couple of different patterns that we can do here. And this is just a note telling us, um, you know, there was going to be a private Facebook group and don't feel pressure to do everything in one day, which is nice. So here we have the packages of yarn. We do have a full skein down here for the last day. Let's see. Other things we have. We have a shawl cuff. We have a sticker pack and we have a coffee mug here, but mine unfortunately got broken in transit. And when I opened this originally, I didn't uh, find the chip. <laughs> so if I come across the chip opening the boxes, I'll try to repair the mug for using for like holding hooks or something in the craft room. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I can seal. I, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but there's a big crack. I mean, it got thwacked pretty good and it goes up under the decal there. 
um, and it goes all the way through the mug. So uh, this will never hold liquids. It'll never be able to hold liquids, but I can repair it to hold bits and bobs. And yeah, because this is a decal. It's a hand wash, no soaking. So you don't dissolve the adhesive on the decal. Uh, I believe that is, and you can see we're in transit, that when that got chipped, it tore up the paper and everything. Like it's, I don't know what happened. The box is in pristine condition, so I'm not quite sure what happened. All right, everything is labeled. Woohoo! We have cute little sachets with our yarn in them. So let's crack on and see what day number one holds for us here. I really wish I'd put my camera in a stand because that would make doing this so much easier. But you guys know me. We kind of wing it. This is real life. Ooh. So we're starting off in the Carrie, Carrie color palette here. We all know about my love of purple and blue. And this is kind of like a plummy color here. So you know I'm going to love that. All right. Well, that is day one of my unboxing of my Aberdeen Wilco advent calendar. I still haven't figured out what format I am going to upload these in since the first is a Saturday. This may just be my Saturday morning upload and I may move that to like a Maybe Sunday would be a good time to upload that. Instead of doing Saturday uploads for the next month, we'll do Sunday uploads. I don't know. I don't know. But I do like this yarn. This is very, very pretty yarn. And I think these are all 20 gram minis. I'll, I'll weigh and double check and maybe I'll, in editing, remember to put this on the thing. But like I said, there there's 24... Well, I guess I didn't say. I have 24 minis here, and they do appear to be in number order, just coming through the box. And the last day is the full skein. So, I am going to go pull a needle and see what all I need. I will probably... Hold on one second. Good morning, you guys. So here we are, January 2nd. Satchel number two. Pippin says hello to you too. I'd like. I don't know why he's following me around so much today. I did get my socks cast on. I got the toes started. So now I'm ready to start adding in day number two. Okay, we're picked up day number one. The tag just kind of flew off. Here I am single handing it again. There's nothing elegant about what I'm trying to do. Ooh. And we have an absolutely gorgeous tonal blue. It looks like it has hints of purple in it. So I am going to go cake this up and start getting this added into my socks. Today is a rainy day, so I will have plenty of time to get the next section of my socks going. So this is actually set up where you go one, two, three, four, one. Well, it's like one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Anyway. So... We may have some gaps 
and days here. This this advent calendar may end up going further than 25 days. Just because I won't have days to open while I finish the socks. So I will decide how I'm going to handle that. What I'm going to do with that in the next couple days. Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> Sorry, it's 6 a.m. I'm a little... It's the first time I've talked all day. <laughs> um, so we're going to crack in to day three and day four here. Tomorrow morning... Pippin has an appointment at the vet to have some teeth removed. So I am not going to be able to do an unboxing tomorrow or open the advent calendar for tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and open it today. And then I'll also have access to it tomorrow while I'm waiting for him at the vet's office. So he's fine. He just has some really bad gum disease and... Of course, I'm kind of having, oh, how pretty is that? You guys, oh, speaking of the cutest little devil. Hi, bug. Hi, bug. <laughs> yeah. Meow. He says, Mommy, I'm the most important thing here. Why aren't you paying attention to me? We've already sat here throwing balls back and forth across the living room, and he's still. Invigorations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine how much pain he must be in. Apparently, his gum line had eroded underneath the roots on a couple of his teeth. So, for the last couple weeks, he's been on some gabapentin for pain management. And we're trying to not give him too much. Golly, that's beautiful. I already knew I liked their Tangled Poets line, but having it here in person, even in the bits and pieces. So at the solidish purple, or, uh, solidish blue yesterday, and we had the white with the blue and purple on uh, Saturday, on the first. Hi, Joker. Hi, Joker. Yeah, hi. Good grief. These are just absolutely gorgeous. And I love this color of purple. It's plummy and it kind of makes me think of a slightly cranberry mauve tones. Ugh. Anyway. Stop staring at how pretty day three is. On to unboxing day four. But yeah, so I'm going to, I'm not going to stay at the vet's office while they do the procedure. I have to drop him off and there's still uh, precautions at the vet's office, but at least I can walk him inside myself. I don't have to drop him off in the parking lot. And it's going to be a little bit of a, a stressful day and when I get home with him of course I'm going to need to be able to sit down and just cuddle the daylights out of him because he's going to be confused yeah yeah <laughs> he's like what are you doing mommy what is she doing can I have the little bags I'm probably going to have to close this now that he's watching me unbox this. Oi. Sorry, doing this one-handed is kind of hard. Ooh. Ooh. So we have the blue and the purple again, but now it's mixed with more of the green. That is so pretty. That is just so pretty. So this is actually, this will be all four of the colors for the socks. 
So I will just keep working on the socks. And uh, I will keep you guys updated. I'll try to get a picture when I add in the first section of day three. And uh, when I add in the first section of day four. And then from there, we're actually alternating into one through four. So I will keep pictures going and let you guys know what's going on. But I will see you again on the 5th. Hey guys, so today we are opening day five of my Tangled Poets advent calendar. I've been working on my socks. I am six rows away from the heel turn. I'm stuck once again trying to do this one handed. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is so ridiculous! Oh my goodness! So this will start the next pattern. Ah, ooh, I like that. It's kind of like neutral sea foam. I like that a lot. All right. Well, there we go. The next pattern is a shawl. And I think that's day five through nine. Or shawlette. Uh, I have still not received in my email or seen on the Facebook group where the sweater pattern is so I guess we'll see what happens with that anyway I am going to go cake this up and I will see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys so today is day six of our advent calendar. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Once again, single handed. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So, yesterday we got that beautiful sea foam color. I know it doesn't seem like that long for you guys, but because <laughs> you're just seeing like the clips back to back. But for me, I have to remind myself, ooh what we got. I have not started the shawl yet, so. Ich bin busy. Busy, busy, busy. Ooh, pretty, pretty. So we got that sea foam yesterday, and now we have kind of like that green tone that was in there, but now it's mixed with a navy tone. I absolutely love this collection. This has been so much fun. Whee. All right. Well, I'm going to go take my giddy rear end over to the uh, cake winder. And I'm going to go cake this up. And maybe today I will start the shawl. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hi, you guys. Welcome to the 7th of January. Um, as soon as I sat down, somebody decided he was the king of the moment. He's doing great after his little dental adventure. He's still on painkillers and stuff, but he's doing good. You know, he's, he's, he's being a royal pain in the hiney because he has to be a part of anything mommy goes to do 
see anything mommy goes to do. So, let's uh, crack back on in here. Two day seven. Now I get something on that. I swear. If you have a toddler, you know what it's like living with him. If you have a needy dog, you know what it's like living with him. He's the cutest pain in the rear end to ever be. Yes, you is, you cutest pain. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> so we can kind of see the color through the, the bag there, but once again, it's a tonal solid that is the bright blue out of that day six yarn and that is really pretty i think pippin approves <laughs> but yeah so that is our what <laughs> yeah i don't know why he's being so extra at this moment Troy is up on the sofa watching TV he easily could be doing this to Troy instead of me because I'm doing something but anyway that's our yarn and I am going to drop this clip in after I take a picture of where I am I did not finish the section that is day one or day five and six and I will show you an update picture of where I am on the socks. I'm about to start the heel. I am going to use the Earth Tone Girl Shadow Wrap heel for these just because I really, really do like that heel quite a bit. Um, yeah. So I will drop in pictures of the shawl and the socks where we are. And I'm going to get this caked up. I'm going to get this smushed together and ready to upload tomorrow. I love you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the first week of opening the Aberdeen Wool's Tangle Poets Advent 2021 calendar. And I will see you guys again real soon. Love you guys.